Hello folks, so this is 2011, October, November, paper 2-1 and the question number is 3. This uh, problem is uh, related to kinematics chapter and it's about projectile as you can see the curves here. Uh, it says that a uh, ball is thrown against a vertical wall. So wall is there, ball is there. The path of the ball is shown in figure 3.1. So 3.1, so it goes like this, it strikes a certain point and returns. The ball is thrown from S, S uh, with an initial velocity of 15 meter per second. So I can write here as uh, this is equal to u. I often write it as u here uh, at 60.0 degree to the horizontal, 0 0.0 degree to the horizontal. And I assume that the air resistance is negligible, so it means a pure projectile. For the ball at s, uh, calculate its uh, horizontal component of a velocity. So it's simply equal to u h is equal to u cos of theta equal to u is 15.0 uh, cos then 60.0 degrees that will be equal to uh, this thing comes to be equal to 15.0 uh, 15, 15 into 0 0.5 equal to 7.5 uh, meter per second so it is uh, 7.5 it's actually half because cos 60 is equal to half then uh, vertical is uh, u vertical is equal to u sine of theta that's equal to uh, 15.0 sine then uh, 60.0 degrees equal to 15.0 into uh, sine 60 becomes equal to becomes and becomes um, so it is uh, 0 0.866 so into uh, this thing comes to be equal to uh, 0 0.866 this equal to equal to uh, 12.99 9 degrees equal to 13.0 degrees so it is uh, sorry meter per second meter per second so it is 13.0 meter per second now uh, the second question says the radial distance from yes to the wall is 9.95 uh, meters so from here to here it is 9.95 meters the ball hits the wall at p at p with a velocity that is at right angles to the wall so that means here it is forming 90 degrees angle to the wall the ball rebounds to a point F that is 6.15 meters. So when it rebounds, the distance is 6.15. That means that uh, the uh, velocity of rebounding is less than the uh, velocity of striking. Uh, so we have got this distance here to important to note and this distance here. Using your answers in A, so we have to use these answers to calculate the vertical height gained by the ball when it travels from s to p so we have to find this height here this height now one thing that we have to remember is that uh, during the flight of the projectile body well body uh, it becomes a horizontal or it, it becomes perpendicular to the vertical when it is at the maximum height when it is at the maximum height so that's my that's why so what it, we have to do is this thing is the h max so this h max should be equal to equal to u square sine square theta by 2z is the formula which we deal with in uh, uh, theory classes you can do it in a different way also but uh, i think formula would be better if we do in a different approach that will be longer here and we have got less here so it's equal to u square is equal to uh, 15.0 squared so sine square 60 degrees then it is a 2 into 9.81 so, so I do, the calculator, so it should be equal to uh, 15 uh, square uh, into uh, 60 sine square divided uh, bracket 2 into 9.81 very close equal to so this becomes 8.6 so it is 8.6 0, 0 something here so it should be equal to 8.6 meters so this height is equal to this height becomes this height becomes 8.6 meters then the next part of question becomes so let me like this ah i do like this so slightly displaced here let me arrange it let me arrange it ah now show that the time taken for the ball to travel from s to p is 1.3933 seconds so it means from s to p we have to find the time now what this time is since it is using the topmost point here this time is equal to half of the total time so it is simply time for the upward flight so that the time for upward flight will be equal to so tu will be equal to equal to u sine theta by z 
the total time is 2u sin theta by z and this time will become 2u sin theta by z. So it should be equal to u is again 15.0 if you remember into sin of 60 here 60 then it is 9.81 so that becomes equal to equal to slim uh, 60 sin uh, sin into 15 divided 9.81 so it becomes it becomes so 1.32 seconds 32 seconds 32 seconds 32 something actually so it's approximately it is uh, uh, but my calculation came to be uh, 1.32 so i read it as 1.3 which is also correct now show that the velocity of the ball immediately after rebounding so what you have to do is we have to find the velocity here after rebounding rebounding so uh, rebounding from the wall is about 4.6 meter per second it says it tells us to find the velocity of rebounding uh, to be about 4.6 so what we have to do here is to find that velocity of rebounding what you know is uh, from then onwards from here to here is a different projectile and from here it is a different projectile so now we have got a different projectile which has got to initial velocity uh, something something which you have to find its range is this this and its height is this range is 6.15 and height is 8.6 meters so what I do here is my formula will now be equal to this range is equal to u root of twice s by g so which will give me this u is equal to r into root of g by twice h so equal to the range is equal to as you can see here range is 6.15 meters so it is 6.15 6.15 into root 9.81 divided 2 into the height is this the height is uh, this thing so it's equal to 8.6 meters so into 8.6 so when I do calculation here it becomes uh, so 9.81 divided 2 bracket 2 into 8.6 equals equal to uh, power 0 0.5 uh, into 6.15 so this comes to be equal to 4.64 meters 4.64 meter per second and it is given here so it nearly by equal to 4.6 meter per second again correct now the mass of the ball is a 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 kgs calculate the change in momentum of the ball as it rebounds from the wall so it rebounds here we have to find the change in momentum so the momentum change will be equal to delta p is equal to so let me go for the magnitude only so i'll use a p initial minus p final that's equal to p initial is mass into striking velocity the striking velocity there the uppermost thing is here so here the velocity is just u cos theta u cos theta because the vertical thing disappears here only the horizontal remains so u cos theta is equal to 7.5 so it's mass into into 7.5 minus again uh, minus again mass into mass into the rebound velocity is uh, somewhat to uh, this, this this rebound velocity so it's equal to equal to minus uh, let me use it here 4.64 meter per second so it's equal to mass is common 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 bracket 7.5 minus minus plus plus 4.64 and this becomes equal to equal to let me read uh, uh, 60 60 exponent minus 3 into bracket 7.5 7 7 uh, plus 4.64 very close uh, equal to so that, that becomes 0 0.7284 0 0.7284 uh, newton second nearby equal to 0 0.73 newton second 73 newton seconds now the last question Sen explain whether the collision is elastic or inelastic so what we have is we have to find whether the collision is elastic or inelastic. In that case, what I have to do is, uh, if I find KE here, if I find the initial KE, it will be equal to half mass into, half mass into this velocity square, this velocity square. And if I find the KE later, it will be half mass into this velocity square. So definitely the KE later will be decreased. Definitely the KE later will be decreased. So this means the collision will be inelastic. So with this velocity, the k will be more initial with this velocity the k will be less 
half m into uh, velocity square so it is inelastic or you can also say somewhat like that uh, let us say velocity of approach initially it was at rest it was at uh, 7.5 so the velocity of approach is 7.5 meter per second and later it goes it goes back with uh, 4.64 meter per second so the velocity of uh, separation is zero here velocity separation is uh, since it is zero here it should be 4.64 meter per second so that means velocity of approach is more and of separation is less so that's why it is inelastic so i can say here uh, since since uh, ke final is less than ke initial the collision is inelastic inelastic or since i can say uh, velocity of separation uh, relative velocity of separation is less than relative velocity of approach then it should be inelastic so you do it in the, uh, detail so i can just uh, i just give the idea here so i think uh, the idea is the idea is more important than the whole process